let's, let's talk about Elon real quick. So um, th- this has been kind of with Elon and Twitter. It's been a will they, won't they. It's kind of like those two hot and heavy people after prom. Like they've been making out. He's, you know, he, he he's kind of he's kind of a little bit shy though, and and she's playing hard to get. And you're like, is that prom dress coming off? Will they? Won't they? Is there? Are they going to be shipped? Right? Are we shipping this or not shipping this? Is it happening or not happening? Well, um, I think that Elon will eventually close the deal. I think he will eventually seal the deal because I think that Twitter can't play the uh, coquette. For too long. Um, here's the here's the thing. Um, Twitter, Elon said originally, I want to buy Twitter, and Twitter's like, okay, cool, bro. Elon said, okay, but but before I buy Twitter, tell me how many bots you have, and they're like, that's impossible. He's like, okay, well, I'm not going to buy because that's significant. A lot of your accounts are fake or bot accounts or whatever else. So off, then Elon pulled out and said, hey, that was a condition. I'm pulling out. And they said, oh, no, you ain't. We're suing you to close the deal. They, they wanted to get pounded by Elon so bad, they sued him to get that D, to close that deal. So Elon eventually now has gone to court and they said, hey, if you can close the deal by the 28th of October, we're dropping the suit. So Elon said, cool, bro. And he sent Twitter and their lawyers a letter that said, I want to close the deal. And Twitter said, no, we don't have everything we need. And they're demanding further proof from the banks that they're properly capitalized in order to close on the deal, which is kind of weird. If Elon's saying he's going to close on the deal, oh, fuck, my battery's about to die. God damn it, I fucking kicked. I got so pissed off, I kicked my uh, I kicked my thing. Kicked my... Uh, it's what happens when you're streaming from a brick all right there we go i got so pissed off i kicked my fucking power cable i do that sometimes so all right we're back okay so elon elon said hey i'm gonna close and they're worried about his capitalization they're worried if he doesn't have enough money here's what happens here's what happens uh when he wants to close on this deal when he goes to fund this deal it's all about the money it's all about the fucking money so pay attention here. So he's financing, he's going to get equity financing. This is money from the bank for $3.3 billion. And he's taking a $13 billion loan against Twitter. I'm going to be real here, guys. This is probably the real value of Twitter. The real value of Twitter is probably $13 billion because the bank is not willing to give more money uh, on that loan against Twitter. So th- they know that Twitter is a sham. They know that Twitter, a lot of Twitter's value is inflated. Twitter has a lot lower value currently in its current state, in its current peak wokeness state. People like in Twitter like to think it's the shit and it's like killing everything. No, it's, it's not. It's actually pretty much stagnating uh, and flailing, really. Um, but this is probably about the real value of Twitter. Uh, but he's going to be paying about four times that price for Twitter. So can he close the deal? Yes, he is going to close the deal, I think. And, and if you look at the markets, you look at what actually people are predicting in terms of trading, The based on trading, there's about a 60% chance he closes that deal based on trading. I would think that's even higher. So I think Elon, Elon, uh, Elon closes the deal on Twitter. And I think he wants it, right? He wants it. And all if all he's got to do is produce a little bit of extra paperwork to close this deal, then he'll get there. He's going to do it. He's going to close the deal. He's going to own Twitter. And I think he will open it up for free speech. I think it will ultimately become a more free platform when he owns it. But why do I think that? Here's the thing. Opening up Twitter to free speech is a smart business move. As a person who is a corporate attorney who literally advises clients, hey, hey, we need to look at stuff that is the nexus between legal, what we can do, what is the law, and what is a smart business move, what is going to make money. Opening the platform up will make money. All those people who are banned, all those people who ran away will instantly jump back. And if they can get blue checks because they've got a lot more reason to have blue checks 
than these woke people do with their bot followers, it's going to be big trouble in little Chinatown. 